Well, by golly, I just found a really beautiful spring lip combo. I just rummaged through my new drugstore makeup stash and I have a bunch of new things that I'm really excited to try out today. I feel like I've tried out so many new makeup products, but the majority of them have been high end. It's just been too long since I've tried out new drugstore or created a full drugstore face. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have some new things from newer brands to me. These aren't necessarily all brand new launches per se. They're more just new to me. Some of them are new actually, but some of them I've been meaning to try for a while and just haven't had a chance to. I've actually wanted to try the brand JCat Beauty for a really long time, so I made sure to pull a couple of products that were sent to me from that brand. We're gonna start off with a primer. So this is the JCat H2O Fresh Dewy Primer. I hear really good things about JCat Beauty, um, and I just, yeah, I just haven't tried it yet. So this is oil-free, it's supposed to be hydrating, it's made in Korea and it's infused with ginger, green tea, and ginseng root. Sounds great to me. Okay, whoa. I hope that wasn't too much. I don't really know. All right, I put a little bit on my hand. It might've been a lot of it, I don't know. Ooh, it has a very nice refreshing scent and it feels extremely cooling on the skin. It definitely has a gel base feel to it, but now it's drying down and feeling a little bit more balmy. Ooh. This actually feels so nice on the skin. It's very skincare-esque. It feels like it's sinking into the skin, but it also feels like it might have some blurring properties to it, which is always a plus. These are my favorite kinds of makeup days where I'm just kind of like dabbling in some new makeup. I'm wearing very comfortable clothes. <laughs> this is like truly my favorite vibe. This is something I've done my whole life basically since I've been able to wear makeup. I just love a casual makeup try on, you know? So I'm thrilled about today. I'm actually gonna go in with a foundation that I already know and love. This is the Oma Beauty by Sharon C. Flawless in Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. I wanted to use a foundation that I already know works for me so that I can really see how the primer works underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that in a light layer all over the skin. The primer feels really nice. It's been a while since I found a new hydrating primer that's affordable. My last obsession has definitely been the NYX Plump Right Back, but since that one, I haven't really tried any new primers from the drugstore. So it's kind of fun to branch out a little. Just pressing the foundation down with the sponge. I actually saw this hack on TikTok forever ago. I can't remember who I saw it from originally, where they took the Revlon Color Stay Awaken Concealer in a deeper shade and used it as contour. It's supposed to be a potential dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer contour wand that is always sold out. Seriously, it's been sold out for so long. It's actually insane. So I grabbed the shade 070 and I'm hoping it will work as a bronzer for me. It looks like it will. Hopefully it won't be too warm, but there's only one way to find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the product out into the applicator. It has a very similar applicator to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I think that color will actually work really well for me. Alrighty, so let's try it out. I guess I'll just kind of dot the skin with this contour product. We'll do a little along the jawline. We'll do a tiny bit down the sides of the nose and a little under the lip. Okay, we'll start there. I'm gonna go ahead and take my contour brush. This is actually the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08. And let's just start to blend this out. I don't really know how fast this concealer dries. So I'm trying to work quickly just in case but it actually seems to be blending pretty nicely so far. I'm trying to move quickly again so I don't like let the concealer dry too much on my skin before it's able to be blended out. Okay, so once that's blended out with my contour brush, I am gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just go over this. I like to do this with contour just because I feel like it helps to really mesh everything into the complexion and it looks seamless, you know, transitioning from the foundation into the contour and that extra foundation left over on the foundation brush just helps to blend it even more. Okay, I feel like that definitely worked. I would say now that it's blended out, it's definitely a more warm tone than the Charlotte Tilbury, but you're definitely able to get a very similar vibe and feel with this packaging, which is kind of nice. I might have to go through my bucket and see, I know Revlon sent me a lot of shades in this, so maybe I could find a more um, cool tone in this formula, but this will work for now. 
Okay, speaking of JCAT, I wanted to try out their Staysurance Water Sealed Concealer. So this is in the shade Pearl. I don't know if they sent me more than one color, but this is all I could find in my bucket of drugstore things. And it's a little bit light, so hopefully we can make it work. I've actually heard really good things about this concealer in the past, so I'm excited to try it out. Mm, let's see, I don't wanna use too much. I don't really know uh, how much of this I should be using. So we're just gonna start with two dots and I'm gonna start blending that out underneath the eyes. It's definitely a very, very bright shade, but I'm hoping I can make it work. So far, so good. I think once it's blended out, I think it looks all right. I definitely would go for a little bit of a deeper shade for myself, especially for covering up blemishes. But the formula is nice. It has a little bit of a more full coverage, but it seems to be blending out well. I wanted to try, what is it? Is it the Aquasurance um, foundation or something or powder from JCAT? I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried that product, if you know what I'm talking about and if I should pick it up because I've heard really good things about that. And I don't think it was sent to me from JCAT. So I'm still really intrigued to try that product, hopefully sometime. I'm also going to actually use that to cancel out any discoloration on the eyelid. And this will actually work well for the eyeshadow palette that I chose, which you'll see in a second. So it's actually nice to have a little bit more of a bright concealer so that the colors pop once we apply shadow. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend this out all over the eyelid. I feel like things look a little funny having that bright concealer all around the eyes right now, but hopefully it will come together once we have the eyeshadow on. I'm actually gonna set the under eyes using my RCMA No Color Powder. This is a powder that I have used for a long time and really love. I think this under eye concealer looks okay now that I've set it with powder. I still feel like I'm just so picky because I am in love with my NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer from the drugstore and like I feel like nothing has really topped it since I've tried that one. It's still the concealer that I'm reaching for on an everyday basis with my entire makeup collection, both drugstore and high end. So this one doesn't look bad, but I still think I'm like a little biased in comparing it to the NYX one in the back of my mind just because I'm so obsessed with it. I'm gonna take some more of the RCMA powder on a fluffy brush and just, whoa, that was a lot of the powder. I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy, oh boy. Gosh, the brush picked up so much powder. <laughs> okay, mm, let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna just blend out that powder patch. And I'm not gonna powder the eyeshadow because I do want it to be a little tacky for my eyeshadow that I'm gonna use. I'm actually excited to try out the eyeshadow palette, but before we get into eyeshadow, I'm gonna make sure to fill in my brows. I got powder everywhere. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be using my Milani Precision Brow Pencil. This is also a tried and true product for me. I love it. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in the brows and then we will go ahead and create an eye look. Okay, so the palette that I chose to use is the Profusion Pastel Palette. I have been dying to try this out, especially after the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette launched. Pastels are very trendy right now, and so this palette I think is only $6 or something crazy like that. So I really wanted to try it out to see if you could achieve that very popular pastel look using something extremely affordable. I love Profusion eyeshadows, so I'm excited to try this. With that being said though, like pastels tend to be a little bit harder to formulate. Um, they do take a little bit more time to build up usually because of the pigment in there. It's very pastel. Um, so let's try it out. I'm excited. I'm gonna start off by creating a transition with this shade right here. This is a very light pastel pink. This is called Bashful. And I'm gonna start to apply that in the crease of the eye. I'm gonna really just start building that up. This is a very, very light pink, so it might take me a few times to build it up to the color that I'm looking for, but I think it'll actually work great as a transition shade. I'm trying to decide what color to focus on with this. I'm honestly kind of feeling the blue or yellow hmm. or green. I feel like I always do purple, so I'm trying to like branch out of that. What if we tried blue? Let's try it. I'm gonna dip into the shade Clarity, which is a nice matte, almost pool blue, I would describe it as. I'm actually taking that same brush. I probably should have picked up a different one, but oh well. And you'll notice I'm using tapping motions in the beginning because with all pastel shades, this is what I like to do. This is how you get the best pigment payoff, in my opinion. And then I'm gonna blend it up and out till it blends with that pink shade. And it's actually really pretty. It almost creates a cotton candy effect in the crease because it's blending in with the pink. So you get a very slight hint of purple. 
which I think is really pretty. I wanna create a little more dimension with a bit of a deeper color. I'm hoping that this one will show up a little deeper on the eyes. I'm gonna dip into this, it's called Thankful. It's a little bit of a blue green and it does have a bit of shimmer in it, but it seems like it will mostly have a matte base. So I'm gonna take that on the inner corner, I mean outer corner, and just try to create a little bit of definition and dimension on that outer edge of the eye. It's gonna be pretty subtle because it's pastels, but it seems to be working well. Making sure to take that into the crease on the outer part of the eye as well. And I normally do something on the lower lash line, but I'm kind of feeling like keeping it just on the top lid. Let's go ahead and apply mascara and then I'll see how I feel. I actually grabbed two products from Joa Beauty, another brand that I feel like is very popular but I'm not very familiar with yet. And they sent me these two products a while back. I'm gonna be trying the Lash Up Rising Boosting Primer and then also the Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. So let's first go in with the primer. This says it's supposed to give you fuller and longer lashes. It's supposed to extend the wear of your mascara and condition your lashes for healthier lashes. <laughs> the packaging is actually really cute. I like the lid. It's got a really pretty swirl detail to it. Usually with lash primers, I do like to apply this to one eye at a time. I don't really know how this formula works, but I'm just gonna play it safe and do that. So I'm gonna first apply it to my right eye, making sure to really evenly coat all the lashes as best as I can. And then I'm gonna take the Lash Uprising Mascara Similar packaging, just pink. And I'm going to apply this right on top of the primer. You know what I might do? I might apply the mascara by itself on the other eye so I can really see if it did anything at all, if it made much of a difference. I'm not being shy with the layers on the mascara because I do love a good volume. Um, I would say this is more lengthening so far than volumizing right off the bat, but it does seem to be building up nicely. But I definitely would say this is more of a lengthening mascara based off of application. So there's that eye with the primer and mascara. Let's go ahead and apply just the mascara to the other eye so we can see if there's any difference at all. Okay, so I applied the same amount of mascara on both eyes. I do feel like this one has a little bit more lift and length than this one. But other than that, I don't feel like the volume changed that much for me. What do you guys think? Do you see a difference or not? I feel like I don't see that much of a difference, but I do definitely feel like it lifted and lengthened this eye more than this eye, which I don't know if I need more length on my already long lashes, but it is what it is. Okay. I am gonna actually just go straight into mascara on the lower lashes. I'm not gonna worry about primer because I don't really want to lengthen my lower lashes. They're already very long. So I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of mascara to those lower lashes. Okay, let's move on to blush. I was recently sent this blush from Physicians Formula. This is the Matte Minoy Butter Blush and it just looks really pretty. This is called Mauve Mattes and it's supposed to be a multicolored blush. And I just thought that this would be really pretty with the pastel eyeshadow. Wow, the packaging is super pretty. Look how gorgeous the print is on the inside. It's so nice. I'm not sure if this is an overlay it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it maybe goes all the way through, but there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and swirl my brush into this. Yeah, it's not an overlay. So I kind of made sure to tap into all the colors. I'm tapping off my brush and I'm going to smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. It has a very strong scent, but I feel like that's part of the experience with the Physicians Formula Butter Collection entirely. That's actually so pretty. I can't tell if it's fully matte? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's no shimmer in it, which is nice. I prefer a more matte powder blush, so I think this is actually really pretty. Okay, I'm wiping off any foundation that got on the lips, and I've actually really wanted to try out these new Revlon Play It Up Colorstay Matte Light Crayons. They have quite a few colors in here, but I'm definitely gravitating toward this one, <laughs> so I really want to try this shade. This is the color... What color is this? Does it not say? What? Guys, this does not have a shade name written on it. So I'm just gonna have to guess online and write it in the description box. I wish I had the shade name on it, that's so weird. But I'm just gonna go ahead and line and fill in the lips with these. This has a really pretty peachy undertone. And even though it's matte, it's gliding really smoothly across my lips. I actually love how that color looks with the blush and then also the eyeshadow. I'm using my finger and it's really blending into the lips well. Ooh. Oh, I like that formula so far. I'm looking at my face from my big mirror and I just really wanna take a little bit of this Matte Monoi blush and throw a bit of this into the crease of my eye. I just feel like it's a little too bright there and I need some sort of dimension of some sort. 
All right, back to the lips. I actually think this looks really nice. It feels really nice. I did want to try out one of the new, well, they're not super new, but I've wanted to try these for so long and just haven't. The Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oils, okay? Um, there are three shades, but I've heard the most hype around the shade 120 Strawberry Melon. So this is the one that I wanna try out. Lip oils are like all the rage right now, huh? I feel like every brand is launching a lip oil. I'm into them myself. I think they're so fun. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the lips. I love that pink tint that it gives. It actually looks gorgeous on top of that Revlon lipstick. Oh, well, by golly. I just found a really beautiful spring lip combo. Ooh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> Guys, is that not like the prettiest pink spring lip? Are you kidding me? That is so comfortable and pigmented enough, but not too over the top. Oh my. Oh, I'm thrilled about that. Okay, we are going to step back and assess the situation. I do feel like I want to kind of buff out a little bit of the bronzer situation with what's left on my brush. But I wanted to try out the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I've heard such good things about this and I just haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna set the face with this. I gotta take off the seal first and then just prime the pump. Okay, it has a nice mist on it. So I'm just gonna spray this all over. Oh, it's a little bit more intense than what I typically like, but it smells good, it smells like coconut. I'm just gonna gently take my sponge and press everything down into the skin. And then I can't live without a clear brow gel, so I'm gonna take my favorite one from the drugstore. This is from Milani, it's just the clear brow gel. And I'm going to set the brows with this. I wasn't originally gonna do highlighter, but I feel like this look really kinda needs it. So I'm just gonna take my ColourPop Super Shock highlight in the shade Lunch Money. I'm gonna pick it up on the sponge, kind of press it into the back of my hand first and then press that onto the high points of the cheeks, down the center of the nose a little bit and above the brow slightly. And then I'm gonna take my pinky and just apply a tiny bit of that on the inner corner of the eye, just to brighten that up a bit. Okay, so there you have it. That completes the spring look using a bunch of new drugstore makeup. Quickly, I'm gonna go through things and let you know what I'm the most excited about based off of my first impressions. I actually really loved how this primer felt. I'm gonna to have to keep using it and I'll let you guys know if it's you know something that works well with foundations I'm familiar with, but I really loved how it felt. I loved how my foundation applied on top of it and I feel like my skin looks really nice. So I'm excited to keep using that. The Revlon concealer as a bronzer was definitely very innovative. I still feel like I would want a slightly different undertone for myself, but it blended out nicely and I did like the applicator. So if I can find a shade that will better match me, I think I will like it a little more but I thought it was creative to use this as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one because of the packaging. I thought that was pretty genius. I can't find the bottle of the J-Cat concealer, but I have the packaging. I don't know where it went, but the J-Cat concealer, um, it was okay. I think it looks nice under the eyes. Honestly, it gave good coverage, but I'm just too head over heels with my NYX concealer. I can't really say that it's better or it compares whatsoever. With that being said, it's supposed to be waterproof. So it's definitely more of a drier formula versus the NYX one. Maybe that's what I'm not loving about this. It doesn't look bad, it's just not my personal favorite when it comes to concealer. The Profusion Pastel Palette. I mean, it's definitely very pastel. Pastels usually take a little bit of work and since this is more affordable, it took a little bit more work than it typically takes. Um, but with that being said, I feel like I did get that really nice pastel effect. For $6, I feel like you can't really go wrong if you're someone who hasn't really dipped into pastels before. You might wanna start at a price point like this just to see if you even like pastels, if you even use them. This is definitely not as nice as the Natal Tasha Denona pastel palette. However, you know, it gets the job done and it's a great way to kind of dip your toes into the pastel realm if you're into that. For $6, it's, I mean, I think it worked really well, but I would recommend to definitely use a primer, something lighter so that the pastels can really pop as much as possible. The mascara and the primer. So the longer I look at it, I definitely do feel like this eye has a lot more length and lift. So the primer must have done something. It doesn't give me as much volume though, the primer or the mascara as I typically look for in a mascara. It's more lengthening, which I know so many people prefer length over volume. I'm the opposite because I already have the length. So I love when mascara gives me like mega volume. So, you know, not my favorite off of my first impressions, but I'm not mad at it either. I think it looked okay, but I wasn't like floored, if that makes sense. The Physician's Formula Matte Manoi Blush is definitely a really, really pretty color, especially moving into summer if you're into peachy, 
mauve tones. It's kind of like an interesting color, but I think it looks actually really nice on the skin. And I like how you get that gorgeous design with a few different colors. So it's kind of like a mosaic feel and you can like mix them into a really pretty peachy blush. I, I am excited about that. I think it's a really nice color. I will have to say though, the thing that I am thrilled about is definitely this lip combo. I think it is so juicy and comfortable and just the perfect pinky peach color. I cannot wait to use this by itself. Like I just can't wait to see it with more of a fresh everyday look. This is obviously fresh looking in my opinion, but like just something even more simple on the eyes, no color or anything and just this on the lips. <gasps> I'm thrilled. I cannot wait to keep using this. I'm gonna keep this right on my desk so that I am reminded to wear it again tomorrow because I am loving how this looks, but also how it feels. It's so comfortable. And the lip oil is just like a really good formula. It feels like a balm. And then of course the setting mist. I mean, I think it felt nice. The applicator was a little bit too intense, you know, compared to what I'm used to, but for an e.l.f. product, I am excited to test this out, see how it works for me. I've heard really good things about this, so I'll keep it on my desk as well to keep using and trying out. But yeah, my favorite things overall were definitely um, the primer, the lip combo, and probably the blush being the third thing. I would love to hear in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products, and I would love to especially hear if there's any other products from JCat or Joa Beauty that you feel like I should try. I really want to kind of branch out and try out some of those, you know, like more Korean drugstore brands because I hear good things about them. I just haven't given myself a fair shot with any of them and I haven't really sat down to play around with any of those products. So let me know in the comments if there's something from the drugstore or a brand that I haven't tried here on camera that you wanna see me try. I would love to hear from you guys. Overall, I feel like I had a pretty good makeup day. I'm seriously obsessed with this lip combo though. That is a good find for me. So if anything comes out of this video, I feel like it's the lip combo that will really stick with me throughout spring. It's just too good. It's so pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I really had fun trying out some new drugstore products and I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.